नमस्ते जेक सर नमस्ते जूली मैम गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई एम अमतुल्ला एंड आई एम फ्रॉम मुंबई इंडिया एज वी ऑल नो इन दिस मार्च आर होल वर्ल्ड केम इन टू अ लॉकडाउन माई कंट्री केम इन टू लॉकडाउन माई सिटी वेंट इन टू लॉकडाउन एंड ऑफकोर्स आई वॉज इंट अलाउड टू गो एनी वे सो देन माई फादर इंट्रोड्यूस मी टू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी आई वॉज एन इंटरेस्टेड इनिशियली बट after learning so much and exploring i by and by i met my mentors mr pratik and mr pravel from mika studio from here i started my journey and along the way i took i have gained many accolades so without further ado let us start my presentation Please let me know when you can see the screen, sir. We can see your screen. So ma- today I'll be speaking on direct companion and digital literacy. You must be wondering, hey, the spelling of companion is wrong, but you got me right. This is because this app. is about tracking and camping so when i was introduced with this world of technology i along with my team participated in the mit hackathon 2020 and about 300 apps were submitted from one about 190 countries and it is a proud moment for us to say that our app won the MIT hackathon 2020 and won the second prize in the overall ranking and first in the people's choice award our app has also be has also been sent as a part of the atmanirbhar campaign of india our app was about a social cause to motivate people to live together with their parents and grandparents so we all know in this era all the youngsters are moving away from their parents and grandparents and the joint family extended families are now transforming into small nuclear families so our app was based on that here are the ranks and here's uh, here are the certificates so this is for the second prize and this is for the first prize Now let me tell you a little about me. So I'm a 13-year-old passionate teenager from the financial capital of India. I study in ninth grade and have I love app development, coding, robotics, electronics, and I've started all this during a COVID-19 lockdown. I have one first position in the National STEM Challenge, where I developed an app called Trek Companion for the safety of solo trekkers and travelers. While coding, I have developed a love towards teaching and promoting STEM education to others. Apart from this, I am also a part of the campaign promoting digital literacy across the whole country, and I have presented a webinar on the Maker for Change platform. I am also a speed skater at the national level. So let us move to the app. This is a certificate I won for winning first prize. And now let me tell you some of its features. So one of the features is a GPS tracking system to your destination. It directs you to your destination in case you lose your way or if you are lost. There's a weather forecasting system in this app as well. You can get to know the weather in the campsite. This way, you know what to pack. For your back, yes, an SOS. It grants you to call national and international numbers.
This is a list of animals you can encounter on your trek in the woods. Provides you a list about 21 animals, insects and creatures you can find in the woods. Wow, that is a huge number. This is one of the salient features. So you, you can put your contact numbers in the, con in the text boxes and then type your message and click on the send button. After you click on send, your message and your location goes to the numbers you've provided and you can immediately after you send the message, you can also call them. So it allows you to send personal SMS to, to a number. I have two numbers if one is out of range. Here's a checklist to pack your bag and all the necessary items you need. So how did you like my app? I love your app. Next, we go on to digital literacy. So digital literacy statistics. In India, about 6 lakhs, six lakhs villages and 2 lakh panchayats are represented by 3 million panchayat members. And across only 40% population or 40% of the population living below the poverty line, the digital literacy rate, rate is very low. So I would like to teach these 40% people about digital literacy and show them how it works. What is data literacy? This is the ability to use a range of technology tools for var varied purposes. Don't you think Intel is an amazing tool for teaching and learning? What is data literacy importance? It helps for a better life. It benefits the process of learning. It's a powerful weapon for the corporate world. And of course, it's a need of 2020. But there are some difficulties faced. It is not easily available. And a lot of people don't even understand the need of the technology and digital literacy. It's not affordable in many places. So what I would like to do um, is give a solution and do this initiative through youngsters. Okay. My thoughts are to provide literacy to women and girls because they have equal potential as well and provide the facility in an affordable format. I have that made I have done a maker for change. I've done a webinar on maker for change platform, and here, the, here's my recent video. You can obviously check it out. I'm very thankful to Mr. Jake and Mr. Ma Miss Julie, who has organized such a wonderful event for us to showcase our talent. And I thank GIFT to provide me with such an opportunity. I also thank my mentors and my dad who has brought me to this stage. Don't you think this app should go on the Play Store? And if you have any inquiries, you're always welcome to send me an email. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, I, I think you. it's amazing that um, Pratik, all of your students have been so gracious and thankful to be here, but really, truly, it's our honor to have them here. I mean, they're Thank just- you. They're, they're It's an brilliant. honor for me too, ma'am. You, you guys are so brilliant. You, you make me feel really lazy and not so smart. <laughs> Even I would like to share one uh, a thought with you. Recently, uh, somewhere in August, Amatola organized a session on digital literacy where she taught some underprivileged students from India how to make Android applications. And as of now, these students are working on uh, application that could be easily downloaded by the students. 
and they can access their textbooks even without going to school wow so we are planning to launch that application very soon on the play store and that would be like free for everyone and students from any remote, remote location have the access to their textbooks at least very good so in addition to being brilliant you're also very generous with your time and your expertise by sharing it with others that's very that's, good uh, that's that's what indian culture has taught us i'd love to do that how long did it take you to develop this app how 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 long did it take this was a part of the national steam challenge so we were given about a week so i prepared this about in 5 days because my exams were going on at that time you, and you, i coded the whole app myself you did this in 5 days yes sir oh did you sleep <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I did. <laughs> Even wow. I uh, share the story of that MIT hackathon uh, where Amitabh was one of the winners. So uh, this was a challenge which is launched by Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and this is a international event. You might be aware of MIT hackathon. So they gave us around six days to make an application on certain topics, and we thought to go ahead with Let's Live Together, where we uh, we want to solve the problem of grandparents and parents which are like uh, uh, which are staying away from the uh, sons and daughters so we thought why not teach young generation the importance of living together with a joint family instead of living with the nuclear family so we had uh, like i i mentored around nine students they were from different parts of india and we used online platforms to communicate with each other and we divided the work like what all the features will be there in the application and a team of two students will work on that application and, and it was a proud day, moment for us to win it yeah exactly it was the only app from india and we were the only team who won the app hackathon so it was a very proud moment i like before three hours uh, to that uh, to submit the application we combined all the features together in a single app and we published on that mit form and we were like amazed to see the result the our application was only app from india that was able to uh, secure second position in mit uh, international hackathon and even the next student which is about to share uh, his work moes he was the one who created a vaccine tracker because normally across the globe everyone was looking for when the vaccine will be launched but no one thought how to track the process of vaccination so he made that logic how you can track a vaccine which is about to release in the market and how citizens across the globe can trace a vaccine and can get them vaccinated as soon as possible so that was the winning moment in our application that caught the attention of all the judges who saw our application great well i'm looking forward to that to the one coming up next right so Jake, yeah, that. there's a question out there um, on both the chat and in our Q and A that says, "Can you please tell me the name of that app that you are going to launch?" It would be an honor for me if you give your feedbacks. Okay, for the so I'll share. App. Meanwhile, I'll share the link of Let's Live Together once again. That was the app that won the MIT hackathon. and the application that we're going to launch we it could be we haven't thought of the name but uh, on the play store you can look for any of our application and over there you click on mega zunia from there you will find the list of all the applications that have been uploaded so far there are around 11 applications and we will be uploading more application very soon so yes, you I, asked, I, you asked for feedback real quick and i wanted to give you one piece of feedback for that i mean First of all, I think you thought of everything almost. Then the only thing I can think of that, and, and maybe you said it, and I just didn't see it, was um, the different way to treat different bug bites and venomous bites when you're out on your camp or out yes. in the wilderness. You might want to add something along those lines because I am like a mosquito magnet here. They like to bite me. Sure, well, I'll be adding that. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I would really like to thank 
Mr. Jake for organizing such an event where we could showcase our talents to the whole globe. Well, I am part of a team and the team is all working together and we are very, very happy that you are now part of our team also. Thank you. Thanks a bunch, sir. Thank you.